On the last part, you learned how to get a book, and in the book response, the author names were also included. On this part, you learned how to get an author and all the books that this author has written. For that, we need to go to Visual Studio and write some code. And here, go to the Solution Explorer, then go to the View Models, the Author View Model, and then down here, I'll just type public class author with books vm then down here i'll just type prop and string say full name then prop list of strings the book titles now if you want, you can also add the book publishers, but I don't think that's important at this point. We just need the author name and the books that this author has written. Now, let us save the changes and then go to the Solution Explorer. Then you go to the Authors Service then scroll down. Down here, I'll just type Public Author with Books VM. We are going to name this method get author with books and it takes as a parameter the author ID. Now I'll just write var author is equal to underscore context dot authors dot where the n that goes to n dot id is equal to author id and then dot select here, I'll just type n that goes to new author with books vm. And then in curly brackets, I'll define the author name. So the full name is equal to the n dot full name. And the book titles are equal to n dot book authors dot select. And that goes to and dot book dot title. And then just to list. And in our database, the IDs are unique. So for that, you can just type in here first or default. Then next, just return the author. Now let us go to the authors controller and add an API endpoint. So in here, go to the authors controller. And down here, I'll just type HTTP get public I action result get author with books. This will take one parameter, the int ID, and then in the HTTP get, I'll define a name for the API endpoint. So get dash author dash with dash books dash by dash id then slash inside curly brackets you need to type id and it's really important that the value that you type in here so id needs to be identical with id up here then in here i'll just use the author service that get author with books and then pass as a parameter the id in here we have a response so our response is equal to and then just return, okay, the response. Now let us save the changes and run this project. In here in the author section, we see that we have another API endpoint and that's the get author with books by ID. So I'll just click in here and try it out. I'll just type in here one, then execute. We see that we got a response and this author, so the author one, has written the new book title. You scroll up and change that to two, and then click execute. The author two has written the same book. You scroll up and then type in here, let's say three, then execute. You see that the author three has not written any books. Now let us go and add some more books to the author one. So, for example, if I type one in here and then execute, I see that 
this author has just this book. Now let us scroll down and then go to the add book with authors. Try it out. In here, just your book. Then rate, let's say four, genre comedy. Then cover URL, just a value. Publisher ID is equal to one. The author IDs that I set this book to the author one and two. And then click execute. We reach the breakpoint. We can just remove the breakpoint and then click the continue button. So the book was created and added to the author. Now let us scroll up. In here we have the ID set as one for the author. Then click execute. If you scroll down now in here, you'll see that this author has two books, the new book title and the book that we just added.